マチナワルメットの街中を大きく湾記憶して流れる川には中中中クロス中数がいくつもある。はい、中を中を大きく大きくワンキヨクしてワンキヨクしてはい。That is、um, to have like a large bed in something like Magari ワンキヨク A large bed of something. Ben, um, a bent. Hi. A large bent. So to do, to suru, a large bent. Hi. Okiku is large. So to, to do a large bent、uh, on the nakao, machi nakao. Where meto no machi nakao. The middle of town. Right. Um, Nagare Nagare Kawaniwa at, at the flow of the at the river that flows. Where do you think this river flows? Nakao. Hi, hi, hi. Nakao. So the river. The river does a. The river p r o d u c e The shite is sort of like producing. So, one kyoku is something called a noun. And when you want to turn nouns into verbs, you add sudu to it to mean to do the noun. There's no. There are certain nouns that just are commonly verbs, like ben kyo becomes ben kyo sudu, which could be to do studying. But in English, we just say I'm studying because the word study in English is already a verb. But in Japanese, it is a noun. So when you see sudu added to something, that normally means this item right here was originally a noun and it now has sudu added to it to turn it into a verb. So this is, it's, um, it, it does a, a it create, it, it does a large bend. Hi. Middle of town and and at the place where this river flows,、um, there's Isuku Mo Aru. There's, there's numerous other. This Mo as an other. Or That's a good.、More. So, Ikutu is actually a question word. It's a good. Hi. How many more? Hi. But、well, then we added Mo to it. Itsuku is a question word with the addition of mo,、right. meaning numerous, right?、Mo? Yes,、meaning、it means numerous. Perfect. How many becomes just many? Many. Many, there are many more, or there are numerous, there exist numerous nakashu, nakasu. Hi, nakasu. Hi, perfect. Like, so in、know? this case, our one kyoku and nagareru are kind of more connected to each other than sometimes we see tap form. Because sometimes to form, you want to have like a and put in there. But here,、um, this is almost more just like both these verbs are describing the same thing. We're, do- we're both describing the kawa.、Um, so we have a kawa that is flowing and bending largely through the city of w a r a m e t o I think I did have the word end and in the sentence, but you can see that these two are just kind of flowing together.、Um, the way you can tell is normally context. So you see in this specific book, There tends to be a comma after te when、um, there's more of a aggressive and going on between the two、um, clauses.、Uh, so, since there's no comma here, we can make the assumption for this specific、um, book that these are more connected, sharing you know, objects and stuff with each other than some of them.、Um, this is a specific type of grammar point that sometimes te plus verb. Means both these are occurring rather than being more of separating two clauses.
Uh, hi. Um, Moni, would, would hi. there be a, a big difference between just kyoku as in a band by itself? You mean uh, maga, uh, um, kyoku on its own? I don't think you would see kyoku suru. Um, because that way there is um the married reading of that kanji, but uh, magaru I think magaru mag yeah magaru um means to bend. So you could just have that on its own. Um, I wouldn't say there's probably much difference between the two. Um, we've seen the word magaru used before to describe the river. Um. Most likely, they just want to use a new vocab word because they've used magadu a lot in the um, book. Um, also, this one here, take I think, probably allows the O particle to some extent, perhaps. With magadu, might not allow that. Could be a possibility without having the insinuation of actually causing it. So that could also be a possible difference. But I don't um, fully know why they would choose one kyoku over a different kanji. Hi. Hi. Um, koko, koko, um, meru no wa. Osameru. Osameru. Hi. Osameru no wa. That means that to govern. Hi. Osameru no wa. Koko o osameru no wa. That Hi. which got this place. Hi. Machi no Mariyoku wo Tsukasado. That's the govern again. Times two. Kasadoru. And here is Yuriyoku. Hi. Yuriyoku na. Having the power. Basically. It is influential power. Influential power. Machutsu shi tachida. So that which govern this place are um magicians, influential magician who 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 uh, governs the magical power the the magic of this town. Perfect. The majutsushi to onna shoshaku to. Ikure no kimi no sandai sei yaku yoku wa umaku baransu o totte ite. Mani totte ite is, is to take and to exist. Yes, so taking. Taking, taking, oh, Hi. continuous. Yep. Iru, to exist. Teiru, ainji. Ainji. Totteiru. Totteite. So that, that clause said that the, mag the magicians, together with the Duchess, together with the Lord of Twilight, the three great, the three great uh, governing power um they take the balance they take a good balance among them umaku is good or well right. to do well yeah so they a good balance of power between the three big power influential powers the lord of twilight the duchess and the magician right next clause um sorenari ni umaku iteru Sore nari come from sore and naru. Right. So to that extent, or to a certain extent, in a way, sore nari ni umaku iteiru. To a certain extent, that is a good thing. Yes. That is a good It's going good well. So the balance is good, in other words. Right. Uh, totte to ite mo. That is to say, to meaning continue the to, to continue from the previous, and then ite is iru. And even more and and more saying. 
in other words, to elaborate, right? To it the more. Um, even if you say that, right? Because to is quotation to, normally referring to the previous sentence. Ite from you to say, and mo with temo meaning even if. So even if you say would be a direct translation, but it's being used as a um, contradiction, basically. But so this sentence and the previous sentence have some kind of flaw between them. See, so it's it's almost like uh, the phrase having said that. Hi, having it's said having that, said that exactly. Now we're gonna contrary. Um, Akebo no guy. No, and here is. Not the owner, but the residence, right. which means that it is not su, is not su jin, but su nin. I I I always get this mixed up. I know it's hard. I like also. I'm like I think it's the shu su jin, uh, ju nin. I know it was long. Ju nin residence. Ju nin. All of us were wrong. <laughs> ju nin. Ju ju. Jinin ni from Toru, right, Moni? Yeah. But this says ni tote, which does is still Toru from take most likely, but ni tote is kind of has its own meaning. Um, with kind of being in like um on the basis of like for, like their POV. Like, mm -hmm. ore ni tote, I hate that place or something. So for me, I hate that place. So it's like a POV marker. POV marker. For for my personal point of view only. That's Hai. it. For my perspective. Ni tote. Mm -hmm. Hai. But here it's uh, the juni ni tote. So from Hai. the perspective of the residents. I see. It's, 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 a, it's good for the balance of power as in political arrangement but right, as right. for the citizen as for the resident it's not so good it <laughs> actually says some the very important thing which residents are you talking about it's akebono guy hi so what he's saying right here is that for the residents of akebono guy the previous sentence is correct because of the exactly. daga here but it's not correct but the insinuated thing for perhaps the thieves that are getting beaten up by Higure no Kimi, right? When they're getting their taxes collected. Hi. Um. So the that's what the contradiction is here. The contradiction is that, well, that's only true for the dwellers of Akibonogai. Akibonogai. But this could have been more direct, but here they went more indirect with the daga kind of doing okay. dot, 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 like that, being like, well, that's kind of what it is. Hi. Um, here say neburi ga werumeto no machi no seiji ni suite shabete iru um aida ni hai ore wa muffin o tabe Ore. Orie. Uh, oe. Tabe oe. oe. Right. Chanto. Ki. Ki te. Ki te ru yo. To yu. Shiri. Shini. Unazu ita. Okay. So our first thing right here, uh, well, actually, what do you think is the subject of the sentence? Is it neburi or ore? Um, the whole sentence as a whole would yeah. be ore. Correct. That's because this neburi ga, this ga is marking the subject of a relative clause describing aida, which is a noun, which oh. um, has multiple meanings. It means like space, 
but space and time in Japanese is mixed together. So in this case, it means while. While. Okay, so here, the ni marked the ida. Right. So then it turned this ida into a, re a relative adjectival phrase. So this entire phrase yes. acts as an as an adjective that describes orewa. Time. That's correct. So ni marks something into adverb. So it's actually describing the verb tabe oed, theoretically, because time phrases in Japanese are almost always adverbs, like grammatically. Right. Um, so Me. it's when, when I was eating, using that to describe the eating, right? That's when right. it was occurring. Not really describing right. the noun, because in that case, you'd use a different particle. Because ni is saying we're describing the time in which the verb occurred. Um, so that's right. why ni can mark time as well as other things. Because right. theoretically, ni is the adverbal marker. But um, it... It's adverbal marker plus the destination marker, and time is just adverbal in Japanese. Um, so yeah. And, and the, yeah. In a way, destination also describes the actions. So, like, so. It the does action, describe the verb, the where the verb occurred. Hits a certain destination. So, right? so. Yep. so, in other words, we can conceptually think that ni describes verbs in general. It does, yeah. It says basically where the action ended at right? right the ending of the action right and or it could even be if the verb is that of a, a passive verb a self-act verb ni could mark the origin of the action it could come from someone in that case right like, but like con punch in the face i want to talk about look at the destination marker with sound effect as well it's like we got pika pika ni magaki agerareta you saw last time we met and that's because we polished up until the rock was pika pika versus to would actually mean the polishing act was sharp, was sparkly. So the knee is showing that's when they stopped polishing is when the item they were polishing was bright pink. I see. So interesting. Amazing. Hi. So here we see it's the entire relative clause describing the time. So he say that uh, ore wa muffin o tabe ori. Oh, While nobody was speaking, right. I was finishing the muffin. Perfect. What was nobody talking uh, about? While nobody was talking about ni suite, he was talking about the seji, right. the political governing. Yep. The governance of the machi, the town, Gorimeto. Perfect. I was finishing up on the muffin. Right. Kama. Chanto, meaning good, or like a good deal. Doing it About. correctly. Doing it correctly. Chanto kiteru yo. I was listening well. I was actually I'm totally listening. totally listening, dude. <laughs> I, uh to e u in other words to say to say to in an e u right um to you does mean to say but normally when it's acting as a relative clause right because it's ending with e u and not a period or a comma well i guess comma would still be a relative clause no period here um it normally means to define to define so like if you had to say the next line in words which is shirushi. You know what shirushi, shirushi means? Shiru is to do. That's a good Shir guess, but shirushi is a noun. Uh, so in other words, or he's saying to define, or in other words. To, toyu means to define. So he's defining shirushi. Shirushi is a symbol. Like a gesture. Uh so shirishi ni yunazu ita. Right. So how we got you... that adverbal marker for the noun shirushi. That's describing how he unazuku. Inazu Right. He's nodded. Hi. He nodded as a symbol. Hi. That he was listening. 
Exactly. Yeah, I'm totally listening, or as if to say that I nodded anyway. Uh, I nodded as, so. nodded as a symbol of, yeah, I'm totally listening, dude. Um, as is a random thing pointing out, this is the exact same thing I mentioned before, where te form, another verb, is more connected because there's not really a comma here. So these two, the talking and the tuite, are about the same idea, just like over here with nagareru and wan kyoku. This is like pointing those out as we see it. But kind of seeps in there. What to taberu ni wa neburi ni motto sabete mora wa naito. Morao is now in the negative. Morawa nai. Not receive. But there is a I toe at the end. What toe is this? There's only one toe it could possibly be because of where it's located in the sentence. So it come after the negative form. So it must, it mean must. It does. You're it correct. must receive. Must receive. Must receive. So this sentence said, the more I eat, the more I get to hear nobody speak or nobody talk. Good talks. guess. So this is a very special niwa. This is like the only time we've seen this specific niwa in the book um, so far. So there is the normal niwas where it's ni plus wa added to it. Or sometimes it's wa with ni added to it, which has a little bit of a restricting idea. But normally we see ni plus wa, which is just adding stress to the location. This ni wa has a verb touching it. The particle ni for adverbal um, destinations and stuff and time cannot have verbs touch it. That's actually not allowed. So that's actually your hint that this is a different grammatical point than ni plus wa. That it's niwa, which is very confusing, just like how there's three different toes in Japanese. Um, but this niwa is basically saying, uh, if kind of, I don't remember the specific words, but it's saying, um, basically, I have to make nobody talk more, the making is the morao, if I want to eat more. But it's like not an if, but it's like that kind of conditional um i'll see if it pops up if i have niwa in it in order to there it is that's in that's what order. it means that's the in order it, to niwa in, so order, in to, order to eat more ah motto taberu taberu niwa in order to eat more neburi mo to sabete morai morawa nai to i must get i must in order to eat more I must receive more talking from Nebiri. I right. must let him speak even more. Exactly. And we're using the morao here because morao has a kind of an interesting connotation in Japanese of making somebody give you something. Like I, I mentioned it before. So if it, so normally he would use kuredu here because he's the speaker talking about I receiving something. I receive is normally could do, and it shows that you're happy that you received it. If you say I morao, that tends to insinuate that you made this occur somehow. And then you're just saying morao as almost like, like the way you're supposed to say it. So it means to receive, but in here it's like I have to make him, is, is how I would describe it, rather than I have to receive more talking. I have to make him talk to me more, is just kind of what the. Feeling of morale gives the sentence. Hi, Wakata. Mada Norite Norite Nokoteru Muffin O Mita Mada Mada still still um so we have the subject from the previous sentence, ore wa. So now the subject hasn't changed. So it's still talking about uh, ore. Right. So I looked still. 
What is mada modifying? Is it mod? It's an adverb. Is it modifying no nokoteiru or is it mod modifying mita? I'm guessing mita. That's a really good guess. In general, adverbs will modify the first verb they touch. There's kind of a first come first serve thing. If there was a ga or a wa up here, then that can be a little bit different. Wa automatically actually would go down to mita and ga theoretically could be either. And you'd have to use kind of context to know with ga tending to refer to the relative clause just because you you would use wa if um you want to make it obvious we're talking about the final the verb um but yeah with adverbs it's always first come first serve so mada no kotteru means still left over or hey. with another one left so, so i looked at the still left over muffins perfect the muffin that was still left over This time, I will spread butter. Huh? What does kana mean? <laughs> He's speaking to himself. It is a speaking like, to he's, yourself he's, sound. It's he, showing that he, he's musing. musing. Exactly. Musing I, to himself. Wonder like, if I'll ah, do that. Butter on this muffin. <laughs> um and then he say he thinks um Bikuru Su O Hasamu no Mo. Moi kamo. Moi kamo. So he's saying, uh, moi kamo, meaning it might be good. Hey. Uh, asamu. Asamu is to put in between. Hey. Bikurusu is a pickle. So it hey. might be good to have some pickle. Um, Perfect. Put inside of the muffin. Put inside. Put into it. Bacon wa mo. Bacon wa mo. No kote nai kan kara. Since I don't have. Since I since there are no bacon left. It is since I don't have no bacon with bacon being um. Gosh, what is that marked with like? Actually, I don't know if that takes a word on. But yeah, perfect. Right. Um, hey, boy, are you listening? Are you listening? He's using oru instead of iru. Yeah, because who's talking? This is... Uh, grumpy or nebri. So, so, so. But Ned doesn't use oru. So, <laughs> it's right. obvious which man. But Ned doesn't talk. He just goes like, he says like two words at a time. Goes like, kozo. <laughs> that would probably be how he'd say that. Right. <laughs> um, ka o. Oh. Ue. Oh, no, this is not ue. This is agetara. Right. あ、ネブリが俺を聞きがえるにでも変えてしまいそうな顔で睨んでいた right. So here we have nebody ga referring to the subject of the of the relative clause and the subject of the clause down here, um, and we know that by context. That what is nobody doing? He um. He got it. He need amus. Iramu. Iramu. 
Wait, Monica, where's the Hirama? I'm sorry. Hirama? Niran, Niran de. Hiram, Nirama. Forgot what that verb means. Hiram, yep, Nirama. That's one you do tend to struggle with. He stares. He it's growls. a kind of stare. It is a glare. Glare. Who is doing Kao Ageru? Uh, ore. Hi, hi, meaning hi. Khan. Khan, he, he lifted his face. In other words, he stopped eating for a moment. Hi, and what did Nebody do? And Nebody glares at him. He, hi. he, um, he, hikigairu. But what is this hikigairu? Well, we have ore o hikigairu ni demo kaite shimau so na kao. Like you see, this whole thing is a relative clause, right? Ore o hikigairu ni demo kaite shimai. So right there, that is our shimai so. This is connected. That's connected. And then na. So theoretically, it's a relative clause that doesn't end in a verb, but ends with so. The verbs right here with shimai, kaite shimai. So, nobody, he's glaring with a cow. What does that mean, cow with it? He glare with a particular kind of look. Exactly. Hikikairu, anyway, means frog. That so might make it more sense. And you can glares. ignore demo for now. It's um, That's just adding stress. What kind of face frog? do you think? Um, he glares with a face of a frog. Hmm. He glares like... You just he... ignored everything else in the sentence. You said, uh, kairu mitai na kao de niranda. Well, that's not what it's saying. We have a verb here. Kaite shimai so na kao. A face that is like right. change into a frog. Hi, that's a good guess, but let's go look at particles next. Frog is marked by ni. Ore is marked by o. Ore is marked by o. So I turn into a frog. Yeah, who do you think is turning him into a frog? Neburi. So, so. so, in other words, nobody glares at me as if he's going to turn me into a frog. So the, as if is basically the demo, like, and Shimai shows that the main character does not like this idea. That's how bad the glare is. Shimai. Shimai. From Shimao. Shimao, to, to, to happen, to, like, it's going to happen. Shimao is to be done completely. And it is used about 90% of the time to mean, oh no, I did not want that to occur. Like with shimatta and stuff. 5% um, of the time, it means um, to be done completely, and a different 5%, it means um, something was put away. Um, so 90% of the time, it's oh no. This context, it's oh no, I've been turned into a frog from Nebody. Um, so he, he stared at me with a face as if to turn me into a frog. And he's and he's like, yeah, yeah, bye. <laughs> oh no, bad. Oh no, this is bad. Hi, right, perfect. So that is where we're going to 